Welcome, Lucas, my son. I can read on your face that you're troubled. How are you today, father? I'm fine. Step inside. The more kids are not going to be able to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Boleh mundur ni bi, tu nak tu tinggi mulai kiau, eh kuat eh, eh, asyik, muka yang dah ada, jerai, bau, hehehe, oh ini mudo itu, tu mui kiatri, tu mui ronda ke, bau, ani ini, eh, muka dia dia tu, jerai, eh nengok kia. I can read the whole of your life. Your wife is the problem. She will never give you a child. What? Who shall I do? I've tried everything. I've talked to the elders, and we've come together to see you. And she, too, has seen the wise women. No matter. It is sad to say so, my son. But the spirits of our ancestors have spoken clearly. She is a witch, and is eating babies that grow in her stomach. Mm. So... That's why. She's a witch. What should I do? Send her away to her parents. She's useless to you. But her parents are dead. And even if I were to send her away, I can never be able to get back my bride price. Aha. Uh -huh. Then your troubles are just like two heels. Worst misfortune might be on its way to you and your family. Send her away. Don't wait for too long. Revered one, I have a little present for you. One never visits the messenger of the ancestors with empty hands. Since you know the will of the ancestors, I have a small present for you here. I'm 
It is bad. Even the price of animal feed has gone up again. School fees and books are what kill me. My six children really cost me. Six? Yeah, those who don't have children are really lucky. Very lucky indeed. No wonder they keep coming here. Yeah, they keep here, yeah, come here, uh, and bring here yeah, every yeah. evening and laughing. Yeah. I think that's true. Yeah, you fight every time. You need eggs. This is a single time. You have to see it. 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 Hey, Lucas. Don't leave us, man. Hey, Lucas. Why are you living early today? Send her away. She is a witch. Where's my food? It's been ready for an hour. Where have you been? What is it to you where I've been? A dog never asks his master where he has been. Your duty is to get my food. But your food is and ready. Get me children. In fact, my bride price has been washed down the river. You are no good as a wife. And in fact, I'm going to get another wife. No, but you can't do that! Huh? No! 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 Now, have to no. tomorrow. Why don't you be honest and say where you've been? What? Why did this man have been spying on me? What did that witch doctor tell you? The witch doctor is right. You are a witch. You killed your parents. I'm sending you away right no. now. No. I call upon you all now as my witnesses. No. I'm sending her away. She is no longer my wife. If she ever comes back to my house, she'll have nobody to blame but herself. You are useless. You are a barren garden. Now leave! Say, please, don't ever come back. You are a useless woman. I said go! Leave! Leave, I said, and don't ever come back! Leave, and don't ever come back!
as a wife. Welcome to our house. Welcome to our place. Oh, how are you? What has happened to you, Sabina? Are you alright? Oh, my sister. Oh, Sabina. Are you okay? What has happened? Tell me, my sister. What is it? Come into the house. Come into the house and tell me all about it. What do you think? Come right in. Come right in, my sister. Come in. Have a seat. Let me get you some tea. Here we are. My husband has sent me away. I'm sorry, Sabina. I'm so sorry, my sister. He beat you up so badly. He has beaten me before. But never this hard. Did he have to go to this extent just because you're barren? Well, we women have to accept our lot from men. They are just like little children. <laughs> Burning their candles from both ends. Like little children who don't know any better. You are most welcome to stay at our house. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you yeah. very much, my sister. Have some tea. Body. Ah, teacher. Welcome. Yes, how are you? Okay, uh, okay. Better. Oh, have a seat. Teacher, who's sir? How are you? All right. Yes. yes. How was it? Yes. How are you? We are fine in my house. Yes. And how is your son in, and uh, his family? Oh, they are all very well. Very and how well. is his um, four girls? Oh, they are very well. Um, and your wife and children? Uh, Maria and the children, they are very well. Maria! Teacher Paolo is here. Here, Amina. Put this tea in here for me. Betty is coming! How is the harvest with you this year? I don't know. The rains have not been the best. 
but we shall see in a few weeks. You know, the maize ears are this high. Mm -hmm. Hey, how is it with yours? Well, you know, I plant my maize with uh, very many vegetables. Ah. This gives a good variety for the, for the table. Uh, oh, teacher, I don't know why you do this. I don't understand why you do this. Well, because our bodies work better with many variety of uh, vegetables and beans, not just one. Oh. You know, it makes our bodies healthier and so we don't get sick often. I'll try that the next season. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, this thing sad to be. How could he do that to me? After all these years that we've lived together, so can you imagine that he got... My sister, it does no good to complain about the problems that you have. You need to forgive your husband. After he almost killed me? Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> How do you get to forgive somebody like that? It is our duty to forgive others, just as God has forgiven us. But I haven't tried. Who? Your husband? No. God. What? You can't blame God for yes. that? Yes! God is to blame for all the mess that my life Sabina. is in. Sabina! Yes! You don't understand. I mean, you have everything. What about me? Sabina! What about you me? You shouldn't complain. I mean, if I don't complain, I mean, that would be double punishment. If you beat a child, at least you should allow that child to cry. Oh, my sister. I've been beaten by God. I've been beaten by life. At least let me cry. Oh, my dear sister. <laughs> Crying lightens the hurt. But we need to go beyond crying. <laughs> Sometimes the victim can also be the culprit. Sabina, listen to me. You see, each one of us has wronged God more than you could ever imagine by the sins that we commit each day. Yet God loves and forgives us totally. No. God hates me. You know, Sabina, uh, Maria's sister. Yeah. She's staying with us for, uh, for some time. Mm -hmm. You know, teacher, life is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Things are becoming very expensive. Mm -hmm. The fees is going high. Mm -hmm. Were they this high when you were a headmaster? Well, at that time we thought it was high. But you see, times are changing. Things would be so bad if we didn't have people living here and so many mouths to feed. You know, this one is here because she is not woman enough to give her husband a child. That's why she can't complain. Well, in times like this, our people say that every elephant should be able to carry its own tasks. Whose tasks? There are her own tasks. She should be able to carry her own tasks somewhere else. Kill them too. She should carry her tasks somewhere else. Now, this woman is a member of your family. You have no choice but to take her in. Even a distant relative is like your own tasks which you must carry. What do you mean, teacher? I mean that you should be able to take care of your own relatives. You know, uh, we, our people cannot be denied food. Pedro, teacher is right. Food will always find its way into the relative's mouth. Sabina, do you remember teacher Paolo? He used to be headmaster at your school. I've arranged for us to go and talk to him at his house. So, let's go. I don't know. I talked to his wife the other day, and he didn't help. Oh, don't worry. Teacher Paul is a good man with a good heart. I'm sure you like him, and he'll give you very good advice. Let's go. Good afternoon. 
Well, take, take a seat. S uh, sit down. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> teacher, this is my sister, Sabina. She has come to stay with us after her husband sent her away. You remember her when she stayed with us while going to school before she got married? I'm very glad to meet you again, teacher. My wife has told me about you. When I saw you coming with that trunk on your head, I knew that something had happened. A frog does not jump into the road in broad daylight unless something is after its life. Now tell me your story. Oh, it's all right, Sabina. Go on. You can tell Teacher Paolo anything. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's about my husband and I. We, we have been married for over three years now, but I haven't been able to give him any children. Just before he sent me away, we visited many wise men and women. We even went to a witch doctor to find out where I could not get any children. And then, then he went to this witch doctor alone, who told him that, that I was a witch, that I, I was eating the children who were growing in my stomach. <laughs> That I was useless, doubly useless because, because he could not get his bride price back. Then he sent me away. Afterwards, afterwards I came here. Oh, I feel so useless. Sabina, Sabina, in times like this, our people say the cow does not know that its tail is useful until it's been cut off and then it has problems with flies. Just because your husband calls you useless, it doesn't mean that you are useless. But my husband's... In God's eyes, Sabina, not your husband's. In other words, in God's eyes, you are priceless whether or not you have a child. But the witch doctor say that... Now, I... now, now, listen to my advice, Sabina. I wish doctor is the wrong person to go to when you've got problems. You should have sought medical advice. find you here. Your family owes me my bride price. No. You useless woman. Are you really a woman? No. I am going to marry a real woman. One that can give me children. You useless woman. <laughs> How are you, Lucas, my son? I'm fine, teacher. You should be easier on her. Teacher, put yourself in my shoes. She deserves everything she gets. She's not even a woman. For three years, three years, she has not given me even a girl, much less a boy. What did you do in my place? Wouldn't you? Let me give you some advice, son. Our people say that a river that flows alone flows crookedly. 
You should not take rash decisions. You should take advice from people who can give good advice. But you should take all advice with a grain of salt. Because it's only God who gives us children. Even long time ago when I was a teacher, we knew that it is not always the fault of the woman that there are no children in the family. The doctors even say that it can even be the fault of the man. What? Are you trying to doubt me or question my manhood? No. Do you know the line I come from? My father had four wives and fathered many children with them. It's that useless woman's fault. I'm glad I sent her away. Well, you seem to be a man in a hurry. Our people say that people who are always in a hurry don't live long. You should give yourself some time. With all due respect, teacher, the arrow has already been shot, and it cannot be recalled back to the quiver. Ah! I'm glad I sent her away. And that is final. That is final. Ah! <laughs> You're shedding crocodile tears. You're useless. You're not even a woman. You have been drinking. So what? Well, that's none of your business. Leave Sabina alone. She has enough troubles without you. Come, my dear, let's go. <laughs> Why should I be worried about a parent? Just yourself. There, there. Just not fair. What's not fair? You, my sister, have everything. You have a husband, a house, children. You are happy. Sabina, my happiness does not come from any of these things that no. you... It's okay for you to say that because you have everything. You have all you need. Someone has thrown a baby in the rubbish. Musa, you should spend more time on the land so that you have something from there, not the shopping center. Hey, true, I have told you, and you've seen it. I work hard enough on that land. It's small land, but I have it. How many bags of milk? It's more of your kids. Maria, can we have that breakfast, please? Since Sabina came, they've been always in that kitchen, wasting time. I've told you, Petro. Take your time. Take a little beer with the elders. Gain a little wisdom for some day. <laughs> and these, these women, you must... Opa, no, for no, them no, to... no, 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 no. Women are human beings. They should be talked to. They understand. Oh, wow. Not going to have a beer and then have courage to go, come and beat your wife. Mm -hmm. No. That's, that is why this, there is this delay about... Maria! What's happening here? Someone and you... has found a baby in the bush. They are bringing him out now. Come and see. <laughs> Someone has thrown a baby in the rubbish. Someone has thrown a baby in the rubbish. Someone has thrown a baby in the rubbish.
If I get that woman, me I'll kill her. I'll do yes, yes. Did you see anybody here? No. How can they throw a chair? Go to the chief. Uh, they should be able to find a way of doing it. Okay? Right. And take care of the child. Yeah, and uh, Panther Mill can give it, yeah? Why would she want to kill her baby? She has a baby and he didn't bring her any happiness. Why, why would she want to throw her away? She's unhappy, even with a baby. You see, Sabina, it's not a baby that brings happiness. Not a house, not a husband, not even fine clothes. That girl may have all these, and yet she's unhappy. True peace and happiness only come from knowing the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. I want peace. How did you find it? You remember when I was young, I lost my baby. I went and talked to Hannah and teacher Paolo, just like you did. And they told me that God loves me unconditionally, that in God, there was security to lead a stable life and that Jesus can give me the peace to be happy even without children, without a husband, to have real peace in the middle of a storm. Uh, how can I find the peace that you have? I have peace because I've put my faith in God. What do you mean put your faith in God? I used to blame God for all the problems that befell my family until I became a Christian and I realized how much God loves me. Maria, will, will God give me a child if I accept Jesus into my life? Oh, Maria, I wish you knew how it feels. I wish I could have a child of my own. If only, if only I could walk through the village without feeling that Every eye was turning to stare. If only I could know how it feels to be loved, to be accepted by my husband. Maria, will God give me all these things if I commit my life to him? Sabina, births and deaths are in God's hands. But as a Christian, it is much easier to face your circumstances. I'm sure that there's a purpose in all this that you're going through. Purpose in all this? Yes. It's difficult to understand God at times. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. Listen to what the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. For we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. Of God are hard at times to understand, but 
that I know with him all things will work for good. So no matter what the circumstance I face, I can welcome him.